blues scales. Each of them has their different fingerings. Follow the fingerings in the book. You can also, once, once you know them, usually it's best to be able to do it with two fingers, is what Roger L. Jones always said. Once you've got that, you are familiar enough with the, the notes. This would be a C blues scale. When you're familiar with enough with the notes that you can play them with all your fingers. Which would be going... Something, something like this. Or randomly wiggling a bunch of... You can do all kinds of things with scales. And there's a there's a classic blues lick, but you can get into that later. You can do other patterns. You can go up and down, or you can go every other one, or you can go. Go down a little bit more, and then up a little bit. So you know, three steps forward, two steps backward. You know. thing you 